Hey friends, what is going on? Elvis here. Today we're going to be talking about the loot in Lost Ark. Now, not a lot has been shown. Uh, all we've seen is gameplay of a couple of items drop. But if you look a little closer at the gameplay footage, we can actually see a lot of items in this game. So today we're going to be going over each one. So first of all, let's have a little look at the Battle Master. Now, what we can clearly see is there are dual wielding fist weapons. It's very clear that these aren't two one-handed swords. These are unique to this particular character, although we have seen them on another class as well. Uh, we'll get into that soon. So this is really cool. I'm one of those people who plays RPGs and always goes for the melee character, and I love the concept of fist weapons. I play a lot of the Monk in Diablo 3, and it's my favorite class. And one of the reasons is because of the fist weapons, although maybe it doesn't get used that much. But anyway, uh, yeah, the idea of not having to have two one-handed swords, a class-specific fist weapon, makes a lot of sense. I'm actually curious to see what type of items are actually in this game around this particular tier of items, and will it affect the character visually? A lot of those kind of questions. But for now, it's pretty safe to say we're going to see some fist weapons. Okay, next up is our ranged class, the Devil Hunter. Now, what's really cool about this gameplay is it shows two different tiers of items. The first tier that it shows is dual wielding pistols. Now this could go two ways. We could get individual pistols that can be worn separately or maybe they come in sets. Now usually when it comes to this type of stuff in action RPGs, it'll be two separate items and you know you can mix and match different items in the game. Now the second part about the Devil Hunter that's been shown is a double handed rifle, but when we look a little closer, the character swaps mid combat. You know, we might even have something similar to Diablo 2 with a weapon swap, where you can actually have two sets of weapons on your hero at the same time. I don't think this is just a part of the animation. Uh, there's clearly two different weapon tiers going on, so we can expect double dual wielding pistols and also two handed rifles. But what we're not seeing is bows in this. So I feel like this might be another one of the 18 classes that are going to be in this game. That is yet to be announced above the previous announced heroes already. Alrighty, let's take a look now at the Arcanar. Now, what's unique about the Arcanar out of all of the classes so far is that it has no weapons whatsoever. Now, I haven't seen this kind of concept in a long time. The last time I heard about this kind of thing was in Baldur's Gate on the Monk, I think it was, where the actual hero had no particular items. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, that game's a bit old, but that's just in the main hero display that's shown. If we take a really close look at some of the gameplay, it appears that she has some kind of one-handed sickle extending off her right arm. Now, this could be a pair of really unique braces, but yeah, it kind of looks to me like a sickle of some sort. So yeah, I don't know, guys. What do you reckon about this? No weapons or tickling monsters with a sickle. The tickle sickle. Now, let's jump into what looks like to be one of my favorite classes, and that's the Warlord. First of all, it's obvious he has a shield. We know that much. But what we also have here is what looks like to be a two-handed weapon that's held in only one hand. Now, this seems to have two functions. It's a blade for starters, but the second function is it's a ranged attack weapon as well. You can clearly see that this is also a rifle. This kind of brings back memories of like Final Fantasy or something along those lines. It's got its really own unique twist, I think. Yeah, this is cool. I really like this item. I'll be curious to see how this actually works in the game, like a ranged tank. It just seems kind of, uh, you know, contradictory to itself, but it does look like the ranged is simply just kind of, um, you know, expressed visually, uh, and the range isn't too crazy. So, yeah, it'll be cool to see how this works out. Now it's time for probably my favorite class so far while following this game, and that is the Infighter. Once again, it's very similar to the first class, the Battle Mage. It's clearly dual-wielding fist weapons, what it looks like to be again. Now, those classes seem very similar as well. It's quite interesting to have, you know, both classes quite similar, but... I think they do actually play a lot differently based on the gameplay that I've actually seen. Since we've already covered two-handed melee weapons, I won't continue on there. Okay, guys, it's time for the Berserker. Can I have three favorite classes? I think I've already chosen two right now. If I could choose a third, it would be the Berserker. He's running a two-handed weapon. Now, I wanted to discuss a little bit along with this, a two-handed sword, sorry. So why I wanted to talk a little bit more about this is because we've already seen another class that has a two-handed weapon slash rifle and a shield. This kind of looks like just a blade by itself. So we might have like two different type of tiers of two-handed weapons. One of them might be class specific and the other one might be just in general a two-handed weapon. For example, you know, we've got a standard two-handed swords for every class can use. And by the way, guys, I don't know if every class can use you know, every single weapon. It's kind of looking like it's that's not the case. But, you know, the general classes have a two-handed weapon they can use. And then all of a sudden, the Berserker, he's got this next tier. It's like a class-specific weapon just for him. 
You're noticing he's not carrying it in one hand either. I think visually, this is one of the most impressive looking things in this game. Like just the way that the massive blade swings around. It's so over the top. It's so dramatic uh, in a good way, you know, in a really good way. Now, there's one more idea I wanted to float around with you guys with this particular item on the Berserker. And that is that it might be a lance. It kind of looks a little bit like a lance too. So yeah. Anyway, friends, had a lot of fun breaking down all of the items in Lost Ark that potentially might be in the game. Uh, these are all just observations as well, by the way. Subscribe if you want to see some more Lost Ark. My name is Elvis. This is Friend of Machine. Uh, go and check out some of the other Lost Ark videos that are available on the channel as well. Catch you next time, guys. See ya.